Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I contour and highlight my round face. Every face shape requires a different take to contouring, but today I'm going to show you how I contour and highlight my round face. This was requested by one of you guys, so this is the tutorial. Hopefully you guys get a lot of info from it and it's informative and you can get those chiseled cheekbones and that slimmer looking face. So I'm going to start off by prepping my face for the base. I used a moisturizer and a little bit of the Nivea shave post shave balm as a primer it works absolutely amazing and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use foundations I'm currently in love with the L'Oreal true match foundations and I'm kind of in between colors so I mix two I start off by applying with a brush and then I go in with a beauty blender and I buff it all out there's also a lot of products you can use to contour with my personal favorite is foundation sticks this one by fit me is is wonderful it's a Maybelline product and then also pro conceals these are my favorite favorite they're amazing for contouring so I'm starting off with this lighter brown shade I'm putting it into my cheekbones a little on my forehead and then of course I always do this step you have to put it under your chin this will give you a more kind of chiseled looking chin and um, it just makes your face look slimmer also kind of helps with the double chin and then a little bit under my lip and also I'm contouring my nose I usually do not do this I just I don't know I find it an extra step but I wanted to show you guys in case you do want to contour your nose then I go in with that darker brown shade and I'm just putting it on top of that lighter color that we put on. I always like to do this when I'm contouring, especially if you're a beginner. This is a really good cushion because going in with that lighter shade and then the darker shade will create a beautiful blend and it'll be a lot easier to blend it out. You won't have as much harshness. So that's why I like to use two different tones um, of brown or contour shade it really does um, help and then of course I'm just doing it under that lip because guys this is a very good trick if you have very thin lips putting a little bit of brown under the lip will create a fuller um, lower lip then I'm going to go in with the Master Conceal by Maybelline. I'm highlighting under my eyes and I'm applying quite a heavy hand and I am creating a nice line by my nose. This will help us when we're going to be blending out um, all the contouring. And then a step that I always, always do and is very important to me is going into that inner corner, especially if your eyes are deep set. This will really brighten and lift that area. And then, of course, I put a little bit on my eyelids and then some on my cupid's bow on the sides of my mouth because that area tends to be a little bit darker on top of my eyebrows and a bit on my forehead and also down the bridge of my nose. I do this all the time, even though I do not contour my nose I will still bring a nice line down the bridge of it it really just creates a little bit of a slimmer effect without the contour um, so I really like doing that and then I go in and I apply some on my chin and under my contour this is a crucial step applying a little line right under there it will it's almost like a little border for you not to go past that area because you don't want to go too low with your contour or too high you kind of really want want to reflect like your natural sort of hollowness or like that cheekbone area so you want to you know stay in the lines but not create a harsh line at the same time if that makes sense so creating that like highlight under there is sort of a little trick to not going too low with it and um, I'm just using my beauty blender or no I'm sorry the real technique sponge I always want to say beauty blender but I'm using the real technique sponge and I'm blending it out you really want to be patient with this and take your time and slowly work at it and use like little kind of strokes slash dabbing motions I almost like stroke and dab at the same time and that's what really creates that nice blend so I'm blending out that line that I created under uh, my chin and you want to make sure that you're really keeping it in those lines and not going too far down and then I'm blending out my forehead um, as you can see it all looks super dramatic right now but in the end it's all gonna look really nice and blended so then my nose I am 
I kind of just flipped the sponge and I'm just using that like more uh, thinner side and I'm blending it out. You want to do this very slowly because you can get kind of carried away with the nose and make it look unnatural. I think the nose is the easiest that you can make look really like weird. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you're just using little kind of dabbing uh, motions and very slowly um, kind of blending it out. And then I blend out the concealer. So I'm just using that other side again, the flat side, and I'm blending it all out. And um, once again, you want to make sure that you're staying um, in the area that you applied the concealer. Uh, just because if you start blending everything too much, you'll kind of lose the effect of the contour and the highlight. So that's why you want to make sure that you're blending it out, but you're still staying in those like precise areas that you applied it to. So you can just see here, I just keep blending, blending, blending. It's a lot of blending at this point because obviously we did apply a lot of product. I did use a darker uh, shade just so you guys could really see the effect that it gives. Um, and you can go as dramatic or as undramatic as you want. It's really up to you. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with the Airspun Translucent Powder. I'm gonna be baking today, so I'm basically just applying a really heavy hand of powder under the eyes and then I put a little bit on my chin and then I went ahead and dusted some of it in my t-zone so some on my forehead and around my nose like around the little kind of crevices just to get it really well in there and then just using a big powder brush I'm just applying a little bit of powder all over I do this because I think it looks a lot better when you go in with the uh, powder contour products it just gives you a little bit of a softer look in my opinion and then I go in and just sweep away all the powder that we applied um, and going in with my true match powder this is a powder but I use it as a contour it's just a really awesome shade and um, it just blends like a dream so I'm just using my elf complexion brush and applying it in all the contour areas that we did um, apply the cream and I kind of squeezed the brush and applied it uh, down the bridge of my nose like on the sides um, and again under my lip and all the areas that we went over um, and you want to make sure that you really blend it and um, create you know that seamless sort of look and now I'm going to be baking under my contour I'm just using that same air spun powder and a uh, disposable makeup sponge and I'm creating a line right at the corner of my mouth towards the back of my ear and um this will really basically clean up your contour and make it really chiseled and just give you that super, super clean look. And um, you just basically create the line and then you put powder underneath it. You can see here I'm doing the other side. You definitely want to use the corner of your mouth as a guide um, because you'll get, you know, an even sort of contour look. And um, yeah, and I'm just basically packing it on. The thing about baking is you never want to leave it on for too long. I have noticed that if I leave on a baking too long, it just creates a very like dry dry crusty look so you just you don't want to leave it on for very long at all and then I went in with a nice blush color from the morphe brushes palette and I just applied some of that on the cheeks and then you just buff away all of that um powder and look at that you get a beautiful beautiful effect it looks very clean and really nice and then I'm going in with my all-time favorite highlighter the Mary Luminizer by the balm and I'm applying that on top of my cheekbones and I kind of like to like fluff it and blend it so it's not like a strip of line and then I put some on my cupid's bone bone <laughs> on my cupid's bow um, on my chin down the bridge of my nose a little on my forehead and under my eyebrows and that's it you guys really hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos and i'll see you next time bye